Hi there, my name is April Sotel and welcome to my channel. Today what I'm going to be doing, I'm just going to show you how to get the warps out of your hats and how to make your hats not so floppy. It all started because I went on a vacation to Nashville with my sister-in-law and when we, her and I were there, we bought um, a bunch of cowgirl and cowboy hats that we were going to give to our little grandkids when we got home. Well, her little hat got squished on the plane. We brought it in on, as a carry-on in our bags, but hers got squished. And I kept thinking, oh, I bet there's got to be a way to fix that. At home, I took my hats all out, and I realized I had three hats with warps in it. I decided I'd go on YouTube, and I was going to do some searching and see how to fix this. So, sure enough, I searched around, and there were quite a few different sites out there that told you what to do. I've tried that starch meth method and boy did it work great. So I did a whole demonstration for you and unfortunately I couldn't get any sound out of it. So I'm going to talk through that as best I can and you're going to see my mouth moving. I'm going to be doing a voiceover what you're going to see here in just a minute because I can't get back the footage um, with the warps in it. So I'll show you as I go what these look like before. Sorry that I have to do the voiceover on that part of the video. I'll just talk through the whole thing and show you what I did here. So here's one of my hats and look at it. It's all flimsy my hat that I like to wear and it's so floppy. I really thought it, it did have its day. This is a visor I have. This one's just super warped. I thought again it had it had its day. Um, when I So this is what I'm going to need for this project is I've got this faultless premium starch. I got that at Walmart a while back. I've never really used it. Um, I've got my iron, my iron and mat. I've got this cloth. It's just my ironing cloth. I use it if I feel like something um, is going to melt or stick to my iron. So I decided I would use that with this project. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take that uh, faultless premium starch. I think you could really use any starch. I've actually seen some of the YouTube videos. They actually used glue and water and painted it on. So I really think you could use anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spray these down and I mean, I'm going to cake it on. I, I don't think it's going to melt. I'm not sure exactly what it's made out of. The instructions didn't say on the label, um, to the care instructions on the label. I don't think it's going to melt, but just to be cautious, I will use the, the ironing mat. So I'm just going to cake this spray on all over it. I'm going to especially get that rim and the ridge. And I'm going to do the same thing to the back. I'm going to just flip it right over and I'm just going to do the same exact thing. I want it really stiff. So I need to put a lot of starch there. I'm just going to take my cloth and I'm just going to lay it over it just to be on the safe side. And I'm going to press this right in between, you know, so that, so my iron's not touching the, the uh, visor. I'm going to just set my iron right on top of it. I want a really super hot iron. I've got it on the highest setting. I'm going to set that right there and I'm going to just hold it and work my way around. I'm not going to use steam. I just don't really think I need to because um, there's so much starch there that's going to make the moisture. So, and I'm just going to go all the way around my visor. And when I get to parts that I can't really reach, I'm going to maneuver this around my little mat here so I can get up and in, into the crease where I really want to get this flat. So by holding it upward in this motion really made it so I could do that. And again, I'm, I realized that I didn't need the cloth after all. So here I'm not using the cloth. I've just decided I can go right directly onto the visor itself. Let's continue to do that. And I can already see that it has just totally straightened out. So that's really exciting. I was quite pleased that it was working. Because again, you know, I thought I was done with these hats and visors because of the the distortion of them and the warpness. So 
I thought this was going to be a really great thing to try. And look, it saved me right here, three hats. Hopefully it will save you some too. So here's a flimsy hat that I need to straighten out. And the same thing to this floppy hat. I'm just going to keep repeating this. Now all I'm going to do is take the next two hats and I'm just going to continue to do the same thing. I'm really, really saturating them with spray, with the spray start. I'm going to saturate both sides, front and back. And I'm just going to push slow with the iron and it's the iron is super hot. So this is what's going to really stiffen these up. Put these all outside to dry in the sun and I just let them sit, sit there until they were completely dry. It really didn't take that long for them to dry. So here's a before. Here's the after. You can see that it really stiffened up well. Here's the before with the visor. And here's the after, just like new. Here's the before with the real floppy hat that I have. And there it is. It, there's the after. It stayed nice and straight. I love how my hats came out. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Remember to keep it simple. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching. Bye.